Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with another podcast. So if you guys do not know, I want to come on here and talk about the whole Jay-Z NFL situation. So two years ago, Jay-Z famously turned down the Super Bowl because he wanted to stand in solidarity with his quarterback friend, Colin Kaepernick, who, as we all know, basically risked his career by taking a knee. And so Jay-Z, you know, decided to boycott the Super Bowl. He encouraged a lot of other celebrities to boycott as well. I remember when the Super Bowl was here in Minneapolis, you know all these celebrities were talking all this boycott shit but they were all at the parties all on the videos you know what i'm saying having a good old time at the damn super bowl yeah maybe you're not performing or maybe you're not watching but you're still benefiting from the super bowl parties that were being thrown all through minneapolis and in other cities so at that point i knew a lot of these celebrities were full of shit we're gonna boycott the super bowl but yeah you can still give me a bag for performing at a super bowl party like make it make sense could somebody please make it make sense but anyways so what's going down is this if you guys do not know it's now been announced as of yesterday that the NFL and Jay-Z's Rock Nation have made a partnership. So this is what's being reported. According to the New York Times, the NFL has inked a partnership with Jigaman and Rock Nation, which will become the league's new live stream entertainment strategist. With this position, Jay-Z and his team will be asked to consult on Super Bowl halftime shows and bring in high-level talent to perform at the league's events. Rock Nation will also be involved in the league's key initiatives. So um, Jay-Z went on to say this to the New York times the nfl has a great platform and it has to be all inclusive they are willing to do some things to make some changes that can do some good the nfl commissioner roger goodell explained that the partnership with jay-z will serve as a checks and balance system for the league we don't want people to come in and necessarily agree with us we want people to come in and tell us what we can do better so a lot of people started asking where is colin kaepernick's role in all of this and so this was just announced today about an hour ago So this is what Jay-Z is saying. He says, I think we forget that Colin's whole thing was to bring attention to social injustice. Jay said when asked about Colin Kaepernick, who previously protested against police brutality and similarly important issues. In that case, this is a success. That is the next thing because there's no two parts to the protest. Those two parts, according to Jay, are the act of protest itself and the company or individual's response. The NFL partnership, he said, is a part of the second step. Both Jay and Goodall also said on Wednesday that they had spoken with Kaepernick, and though they didn't go into the details of the conversation, when asked if Kaepernick would be involved in this new partnership, Jay-Z chose not to speak on his behalf. He says, you'll have to ask him. I'm not his boss. I can't just bring him into something. That's for him to say. Jay-Z also praised Kaepernick's post-NFL activism work. Nothing he considers it an action, not unlike his own. New partnership in the NFL. Rapper and business mogul Jay-Z, who at times has been critical of the league, now joining forces with the NFL to work on social justice issues and advise on entertainment for events like the Super Bowl halftime show. T.J. Holmes is here. Give us the deets. All right. Uh, 70% of NFL players are black. 0% of NFL owners are black. So when the league seemed to blackball uh, Colin Kaepernick and come down on these players for protests, there was widespread criticism, including from Mm Jay-Z. So now as they try to make amends, this partnership with Jay-Z gives them something they didn't have, street cred. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. The biggest name in hip hop is teaming up with the NFL. Jay Z and his entertainment company Rock Nation just inked a new deal to become the league's live music entertainment strategist. The partnership will allow him a role in producing and selecting acts for NFL events, as well as contributing to the league's activism arm. The 22 time Grammy winner is expected to consult the league on this year's Super Bowl halftime show. after reportedly trying to talk rapper Travis Scott out of performing at the championship earlier this year. All this comes after the league faced intense criticism of its handling of player protests, led by Colin Kaepernick, who took a knee during the national anthem, hoping to draw attention to police brutality and racial injustice. I said no to the Super Bowl. You need me, I don't need you. Last year, Jay-Z bragged about not needing the NFL, but today, in a statement, the rapper says the NFL has a great big platform and it has to be all-inclusive. He went on to say they were willing to do some things to make some changes. We can do some good. 
The NFL says we don't want people to come in and necessarily agree with us. We want people to come in and tell us what we can do better. Now, there is no indication that Jay-Z is going to perform at the halftime show. It doesn't mean this now, even though the NFL says, yeah, sure, we'd love him. Doesn't mean for this deal. Also, no indication that Kaepernick was any part of this partnership. And Jay-Z is, in fact, getting some criticism already. There will be more until we hear details about why you're so critical and supportive of Kaepernick. And now, all of a sudden, you're in business with the NFL. Yeah, need so more details. Waiting for that. details. I, I believe he's going to hold a press conference, Jay-Z. So hear from them later today. Yeah, all right. You know how you saw the whole thing? You just put Beyonce on for the next 10 years at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's got a go. connection. That's the way to go. <laughs> but a lot of people are really split with this on social media right now. Um, a lot of folks are just not feeling this. So Sean King was one of the first ones to blast Jay-Z along with Eric Reed, um, Nessa, who is Colin Kaepernick's girlfriend. Uh, of course, Tommy Lauren, she had something to say as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Sean King had to say. Sean King says, if you are baffled by the move that Jay-Z just made with the NFL, then you don't actually listen to his music. He is a proud capitalist. It's the primary theme of his career. Last year, he did people who performed at the Super Bowl and wore a cap jersey they made him an offer then he goes on to say Jay-Z is what I would call a woke capitalist woke describes his capitalism but let's be clear he's a capitalist and if a good deal comes along even if it means working with the NFL at the expense of Colin Kaepernick he'll make that deal and that's what he just did so a lot of people are weighing in, um, Ernest Owens, Francis Maxwell. I'm going to go ahead and post all of their tweets in here so you guys can see what they had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw the tweets, the comments, and what people had to say. So, you know, like I said, at this point, I'm not shocked by any of this because I sense bullshit two years ago when everything was going down and the Super Bowl was here in Minneapolis, and I talked about this on Instagram. You know, so while regular folks were boycotting and talking shit, I'm like, okay, y'all really think you guys are siding with these rich celebrities, but do you realize just because they're not at the Dome, they're literally throwing a, a damn Super Bowl party on every corner in downtown Minneapolis? Like, literally there were so many Super Bowl parties going on it didn't you know it was crazy but I'm like aren't you guys supposed to be protesting the Super Bowl oh okay so you guys are gonna protest going to the to the stadium but y'all are still gonna get that bag by you know going to Super Bowl themed parties so that's why I don't get hyped up in a lot of shit that these celebrities say um at the end of the day Jay-Z is a businessman so on a business level, it's definitely a smart move. Nobody is announcing how much the deal was. I don't know how much he got paid for this, but we know if it's Jay-Z, he definitely got, you know, several million dollars, okay? So that's one thing. So as far as business, it is a smart business move. But now as far as like, you know, for the culture, um, it is kind of shady, you know, so I see both ends of it. I see both sides because to me at this point, it looks like Jay-Z is going to align himself. He's going to pledge his allegiance to whoever's offering the most money. One of the things that did bother me with the whole Super Bowl fiasco is how bad Travis Scott and Maroon 5 were drugged. You know, people really went in on Travis Scott because he decided to perform only for, you know, King Jay-Z to turn around and partner up with the NFL. You know, so at the end of the day, even with the whole Callan Kaepernick situation, let's not forget that Callan basically took hush money, okay? He sued the NFL, um, and him and Jay-Z basically did the same thing. They took sums of money, signed NDAs to basically walk away from the situation. So, Cal so Colin Kaepernick wasn't really trying to basically peel back the layers and the onions of the situation. Once they offered him a deal that he couldn't refuse, he too walked away and was also even begging for his job back at one point, saying that, you know, he just wants to play football again. But this is the same racist organization. So, like I said, I just saw a lot of hypocrisy as time went on with the entire situation, you know, where 
maybe he felt like he got in a bit too deep over his head and maybe he had some regrets about, you know, everything he went through and he still wanted to play for the NFL. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, Callan Kaepernick took money from the same NFL uh, organization without going to trial, without exposing them, without trying to help other black folks that might be facing real racism in the NFL as well. He saw his chance to get a quick buck, and, you know, he did that. So to me, at the end of the day, him and Jay-Z, they both represent the same sports and entertainment entity, and they're about their money, they're about their coins. It's not Jay-Z's responsibility to get Callan Kaepernick back on the, you know, on the NFL team or back on the field. Um, um, at the end of the day, Callen and the NFL reached a settlement, so I don't think he's going to be able to play for the NFL. Jay-Z saw this as a unique opportunity to basically build a partnership with the NFL. One, it was a money move for him. I don't know the whole contract situation. So at the end of the day, like I always say, you know, nothing that a lot of these celebrities do surprise me. They're about their dollar. They're about making their money. You know, and whoever they're willing to sell out, they'll do that. I'm not saying that this is a horrible thing as far as like, you know, the business aspect of it. But when you talk all this woke shit and you, you know, chastise other people for performing at the Super Bowl when everybody else gets labeled a coon and gets harassed. And then now that it's Jay-Z partner up with them, now it's supposed to be water under a bridge because he's making money. He's making business moves. He's getting that bag. So the whole situation is crazy, but I am not shocked in the least. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this in entire crazy situation concerning how the tables have turned um, and how Jay-Z has now, you know, basically partnered with the NFL to do their entertainment and music. But this is the same racist organization that him and Colin Kaepernick have been protesting for the past two and a half years. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.